This video is for educational purposes only and only competent persons with a permit should attempt this installation. Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. And today I'm going to show you how to add a receptacle to an existing lighting circuit. And first thing you got to do is secure a permit. Anytime you add a receptacle, you're going to have to get a permit because you're going to want to know that you're not overloading the circuit and causing a fire hazard. So uh, what you got to know is uh, what amperage is your circuit. In this case, this is a 20 amp circuit and this is a 12 2 with ground cable cabling coming in through this circuit. So the 20 amps, you multiply that by 0.8, which gives you 16 usable amps, which is considered to give you a safe amperage load for that circuit. This fixture right here is 100 watts and the bulb it's five watts. So which do you use for permit purposes? Do you use the 100 watt fixture or the five watt bulb? So the, the 100 watt fixture would be 100 divided by 120. That's 100 watts. That's what the fixture is. Divided by 120 volts. That'll give you 0.83 amps. That's the usage you figure to uh, get your permit and maybe you just got a few of these. So you could probably get a permit for a standard use receptacle. Now, if you're gonna put in a microwave right here, they probably won't let you do it. But, it, it, so it depends what you're putting in here. So I think it's better to run 12 gauge, 20 amp circuits everywhere in a house. That's just my personal opinion, because you can add things like receptacles later on more easily. So once you've secured your permit, that's, uh, Let's show you how to do it. See, this is a, a live switch right here and it's turning on and off the light. So we're going to go over how you would go from the switch box to the receptacle and get a receptacle that's hot all the time. The first thing we'd like to do is check and see if the voltage sensor is working. And there you go. This is the line that's bringing the electrical energy into the circuit. See, so it's testing hot. So we know that our voltage detector is working just properly. Now we're gonna turn on the light and we're gonna turn off the circuit breaker. Okay, so now we have an excellent indication that we've turned off the correct circuit because the light went off. And also, I'm no longer getting a hot signal on this cable right here. So we have two excellent indications that the circuit is off. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off. This is called a screwless wall plate. There's no screw showing on the top there. Make another check right here. Make sure there's no electricity. Well, you wanna make sure all the electricity is off when you're working on the circuit. These are actually mud plates. I'll be putting a mud plate on this too when I put in a receptacle. And the reason I like to use mud plates is that way I can use a, a double gang box which gives you more room. And also it adds uh, visibility for your viewers. Once again, I'll, I'll check. Now that I can get right at the wires. I'll check everything and make sure it's off. Okay, first I'm gonna take off the ground wire and the ground wire hooks on right here and it goes to this wiggle lever nut. So I'm just gonna take this off right here and pull it out. So our ground is disconnected now. And now I'll just loosen up these two wires here. Take that off. And take that off. Here's our switch. I'll be using that in just a moment. Okay, I have wire connectors on all the various wires for safety. I'm gonna turn the circuit breaker back on. Now I'm gonna make a test with the voltage sensor. Okay, this is the wire that's bringing the energy into the box. It's the one that's hot all the time. Okay, I've, I've marked the wire that's hot all the time with some red tape. And I'm gonna make one more test. I'm gonna see what kind of voltage we have so I'm going to put my probe right in there and right in here. 
and we have 120.8 volts. So we have a good strong voltage and I can just take this and put it on the ground, a ground wire, and we see we have 120.8 once again. So we have a nice strong ground. So we have a, a good strong voltage and a good strong ground uh, coming into this system. So we're doing real well. Now I'm going to turn off the circuit breaker and we can once again check. And you see we got zero volts, so the voltage is off. So we found out that this hot wire is hot all the time and we found out that the circuit's off right now. We have now installed a 12 2 with ground cable and that's what you're going to need to go from the switch box to the new receptacle box. Okay, so let's get this sorted out. This is your cable that comes in to the box and brings the power and energy to the box. It's got a ground wire that uh, goes to, uh, this is called a Wago lever nut and it goes to there. So this is our power cable right here. You call it a line cable and this right here is a load cable. It goes to the light. The light is the load. So this is line and this is load. And this is also load. It's going over to this receptacle, which is another load. There's two loads right here. We're going to take the ground wire and add it to our five conductor Wego lever nut. And we'll push this back into the back of the box. We're going to need a neutral serving this receptacle box. So I'm going to connect all these neutrals together. This is the one that goes to this receptacle box. This is the one bringing the energy into the box. This is the light load wire right here. So I'm just going to use a three conductor Wego lever nut. Just push them all together like that. That's two and that's three like that and you can always check make sure they're in there good on the back you can look at it and check it out so uh, we're just going to push this back into the back of the box our switch isn't going to need a neutral but we do need to have a neutral over here okay so we got the grounds and the neutrals back in the back of the box now we need this to be hot all the time. So we're going to take this off of here. We're going to take this off of here. So this is the hot wire that brings that electrical energy into the box. This is the wire that goes over to the receptacle box. So we're going to hook these together like that and like that. Okay, here's the switch. It says top right up here. And it's got one terminal on this side, one terminal on this side. So we got one terminal going to the light. And we have this terminal right here, uh, which is also going to go to the switch. This will bring power to the switch, and this brings power to the light in a switched manner. So, and we got the ground. We have to add the ground. Right back here. Let's go ahead and put it right in there. Get my hand out of the way. Okay, put the ground right in there. Close it up on the wiggle lever nut. Push that back. Push the neutrals back back there. So I've pushed this wiggle lever nut over on this side. That way we have the wire coming out on this side. See, I got this wire on this side, this wire on this side. I have the ground down here low. See? So I'm going to take and put this right in here and I'm going to tighten this down securely. Okay? Normally I would put the mud ring over the receptacle uh, a little earlier, but the longer I wait to put the mud ring on, the better you're able to see all the wiring. Okay. So I go ahead and put this in. And when you put these in, it goes right there. Okay, does it? You don't put the insulation in under here. You don't let any copper show. It goes right there, okay? 
Then we're going to tighten this down securely. All right, we're doing good. Okay, so we have a wire that's hot all the time. We have a good neutral. We have a good ground. And this, by the way, is a bonding wire that bonds the metal box to the grounding system of the house. One thing you can do with a 20 amp circuit is you can put in a 20 amp receptacle. These are very high quality receptacles and both these devices are called specification grade. That's good enough for government work. Uh, literally, if you work on government projects, you're not allowed to put any device uh, in their project that isn't specification grade. So these are marked on here, spec grade. And first we'll do the grounds. So we're gonna need one, two, and we're gonna need a pigtail for the device. So I'm using a three conductor Wago lever nut, and there's two. To make a pigtail, all you need is a piece of wire. I used the 12 gauge wire, and I strip a little end on it there, put it in the Wago lever nut, or whatever kind of wire connector you're using. I'm going to be putting the receptacle this way with the ground down, so I'm going to put the wiggle lever nut in the bottom of the box and then this will come right out and we'll attach the green ground wire to the green grounding terminal. Okay, so notice I have the white wire over here and the black wire over here ready to go. Okay, so you take the white wire, you put it right in there like that, just right. Okay, tighten down the neutral wire that goes on the silver terminal with the uh, T-shaped, the sideways T-shaped slots there. And now we have the hot wire. It goes right there. Okay, we're going to tighten that down real nicely. <clears throat> Okay, that's real good. And I've already got some black electrician's tape wrapped around this switch. Now I'm going to put some black electrician's tape around this receptacle for safety. So you put it right around the terminals like that. We've got those all wrapped up. Before I put the mud rings on, uh, let, let's go over the wiring here. So we have all the ground wires right back in the back of the box. The ground wires the, for the wires coming in, the wires going over through receptacle, the wires going to the light, and the one going to the switch. They're all right back here in the back. That's a Wago lever nut, five conductor, and all five are filled up there. And here's your neutrals right here uh, there's three there's one here one coming from this cable one coming from this cable one coming from this cable they're all hooked together and it goes right over here there's your neutral right there and your hot wires uh, all get con connected together here except the one that goes to the light the one that goes to the lights right here and it goes to the bronze colored terminal and then we got this one, uh, which is hot all the time. So we got the wire that's hot all the time coming here. And this side is the wire that's hot in a switched manner for the light. So uh, that's an overview there of what we're doing. So we'll get the wires pushed in here. We get it started. And then I'm going to put the mud plates around. Okay, so this one's one to turn this way a little bit, so I'll just give it a, a twist like that. Push it on in. Okay, this one's twisting this way a little bit, so before we tighten it up, turn it the other way, get it going nice and straight. Okay, these are the backing plates for the screwless wall plates. And here they are right here. You put this little thing down, this little recess down, 
I just pop them on like that. That's one. And there's two. I have plugged in my outlet tester to the receptacle right here. And I'm ready to turn on the circuit breaker. Oh, that's good. So we have two green lights on either side. And that means that's correctly wired. You can check the bottom one too. And so they're both correctly wired. Let's try the light. Oh, look at that. Okay, the light works great. It doesn't affect the receptacle when you're turning it on and off. So this is hot all the time. Okay, uh, on and off, on and off. So the receptacle is hot all the time, uh, independent of whether the light is on or not, and the light is working great. So that's how you add a receptacle to a light circuit. This is part of the ideal circuit breaker finder set. So I'll put a link for this. You see this, this uh, uh, has a whole, this has a whole menu here uh, telling you exactly what's going on. So that's your ideal circuit breaker finder set. I'll put a link for that. I'll put a link for my Kinepex 8 inch diagonal pliers. They're just wonderful. And here's a tool that I'm really liking. This is the brand new Klein 1000 volt insulated uh, stripper and cutter and uh, they've been working just great. I really like them. Oh, I'll put a link for the Fluke 117 voltage meter and the Fluke voltage sensor. I'll put a link for Wego lever nuts for Leviton Decora Plus spec grade switches and receptacles. And I'll put a link for the new DeWalt 12 volt max impact driver. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.